J Drone here. What's going on, guys? I dare anybody to try to redo this video today or tomorrow, whenever, just with the original Bugs 8. I would like to see somebody do a video with the original Bugs 8 and the T Light controller. I don't think anybody has this anymore that did have it. This was the original before they changed the canopy to like green and black and it was like pointed. This was the original that matched to Bugs 3s. Let's go ahead and get this in the air. Boom, right there. And we got a watch above us. And I noted it with the Bugs 3. Look at the pitching. This thing actually flies better, I think, on this controller than it does on the stock controllers. I don't know if it's because this has shorter throw that it's giving it a more aggressive pitch. Uh, I'm not sure. But I did definitely notice that on the Bugs 3. Again, this is the Bugs 8, not to be confused with the Bugs 6, although they are basically the same thing. There is a 5.8 gigahertz camera in the center of this. It came like that. Uh, the camera is not that great, but it was great to get into entry for FPV. So if you can find one of these used at a decent price, I'd say grab it up. I'd say grab it up all day. So, woo, almost hit them wires. Got to be cautious of where you're flying. Um, and also, this is a pretty heavily congested area. There's a little funnel for you as far as 2.4 gigahertz goes. And magnetic magnetic obstruction because I'm flying around magnetic areas. So as we see here, we're doing a little funnel action, funnel, 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 funnel. And then we're gonna steady it. You can fly these, you can stabilize them. We'll get it stable. We'll try to put it like right in front of the camera. You can stabilize these, very easy. There's no altitude hold on this. This is a you fly it. There's no altitude hold, there's no GPS, there's no nothing. This is you control the altitude, you control the pitching, there's no safeguard, so if you take this up over them trees over there and you lose it, you're probably gonna lose it unless you have a way to make beeper sound on this, which I do have a modification for that that I showed on the Bugs 3s, um, or you have some other type of device which I've also shown cheap ways to add beepers to drones, even if you don't know how to solder. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. I am getting better. I am about 60%. My health is getting better. Um, for now, we're going to fly. We're going to fly in the street. We're going to fly in the street. We're going to fly on my side yard that's being congested with all my cars and trucks and whatnot. Um, but I'm going to try to get content up for you. I apologize thoroughly that uh, it, it's, it's been a struggle. I mean, if you know me personally, you know what's going on. If you don't, I appreciate all the positive vibes that y'all sent. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this video. I'm gonna grab it and we're going to hit our switch here, which will shut off our motors. I was not using a stock battery. I was using a uh, 1800 milliamp an hour battery off of a Force One drone. So uh, flight time, we could have went a lot more. Normally the batteries are like, they're like three fourths the size of this, but a full size Bugs 3 or a Force One battery will fit in this. Guys, again, Bugs 8 and whoop, that controller, if anybody can do it, tag me, let me know. I don't think anybody can do it. I think I think all the other drone channels, uh, I don't think so. 